Coming up next, we get to this UFC middleweight division fight. excited for this one. This is a kickboxer of the highest order. He has so many different kicks and punches in his arsenal and figures to try to keep this on the feet here today. The beautiful thing that he does is throw that front push kick to create distance when a guy starts to get too close and wants to wrestle with him. He throws it and the moment you're back at his range, he starts to blast high kick. He doesn't always intend on landing it, but he beats up your arm with high kick after high kick after high kick. And as you get desperate, you start to run into knees, and he does not need much space to land a knockout punch. This guy is one of the best strikers we've ever seen in the UFC. And if you don't find the striking range early against this guy, you could be in real trouble. A near-perfect combination of boxing ability and technique. Few guys have been able to hold up when it comes to this guy's boxing acumen. And he'll be trying to put on a striking clinic once again here tonight. And what really has helped him is his ability to defend takedowns. It discourages his opponents from shooting on him. So then they are forced to stand in the boxing ring. No one manages distance better. No one understands getting in range and in out of range better than this guy. If the moment you're stuck there, you are a lame duck. He is going to find you. He's a sniper. The jab always the chin. The right hand follows. And if you are able to withstand that, you got to watch for everything coming after it. And I love watching him land that beautiful left body shot as he ends a lot of his combinations. Yeah, and we talk so much about his offense, but his defense as a boxer, right? The head's never on oh, the center line. It's almost like his head's detached from his body. Truly a sight to behold. We'll see if he can put forth another shining performance here tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. When the action begins, our referee in charge of the Octagon, Herb Jean. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out Madison Square Garden Arena, in New York City, it's time! Five rounds in the UFC middleweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet nine inches tall, weighing in at 178 pounds. Fighting out of Milan, Italy, Assassin! And now we're producing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a boxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands 5 feet 11 inches tall, weighing in at 171 pounds. Fighting out of New York, You've been giving your instructions in the dressing room. Protect yourself at all times. Follow my instructions. We will have a clean fight. Touch gloves. Let's make it official. Ready. Ready to fight. All right, so here we go with round one. Classic matchup of striker versus striker. These guys have both faced a lot of grapplers in the past. They like the draw tonight. Oh, yeah, they love seeing an opponent that will not be trying to dive at their legs. They know when they get to the center of the octagon, the only steps back they will take is if they choose to move out of range to re-enter back into the striking realm. It's a very comforting thought for both of these competitors. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. Nice kick. Just out of range with that left hook. There's no give on that leg kick. There, we'll see if there's more where that came from. Boxing, boxing, boxing. Look 
got him working at trying to shut the liver down. Massive uppercut finds the target. Look at the whip action that comes from him throwing that kick. Trying to kick the leg out. Bone on bone as the head kick lands flush. He better get those hands up or he's gonna put us to sleep. Able to find the target. Oh, Superman punch! Huge block there. Oh, looking to land the leg kick. That one checked. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one? to establish that jab. Oh, huge head kick. Oh! Man, he's timing his shots nicely. It's like Tom Brady out there. He hasn't missed the target. I mean, you insist on bringing uh -huh. in Tom Brady. Stop it. John, <laughs> stop it. Look how he turns his hip into that leg kick. Well done to block that powerful kick to the body. Oh, the kickboxing chops on full display with that offering nicely done. Beautiful kick landed by this man. Left punch is true, now the right hand. Right. Well, he's doing a nice job here blocking these shots. The chin is tucked, the hands are high. Pretty good job defensively thus far. Great job defensively. He's seeing everything coming. Oh, beautiful straight left hand. by him there with the right hand. The right hand is the dominant hand, and you can see how well he throws it. He's very tricky when he throws that body. He's hurt bad. Final seconds here. Got him whip his hip into that kick. Knee to the body. Five minutes in the books. All right, there's the end of the round. So it was a huge strike to the head that stunned his opponent and, and nearly got him out of it. Yeah, that was a big moment. A big strike lands. His opponent's on wobbly legs. That is exactly what what you want to see as you're walking back to your stool. Your opponent staggering back to his corner and being hopeful that he can get it back together before the start of the next round.
Keeps going back to that jab, keeps throwing that jab, but unable to land. Big kick lands. Circling to his right. Now connects with a right. Oh! Big ball punch lands. Now he gets back to range. Left hand now, unable to connect. I mean, he's cutting down the size with these beautiful leg kicks. He blocks the punch. Oh, that'll ring your bell. Head kick. Ah, oh, that jab hurt him. And they separate. Oh, body kick attempt here, it's no good. Well, he was a little bit lackluster in round one. You can't say the same here in this second round. He has really picked up the pace, an uptick in the aggression and the output, and starting to find his range here in the pocket. Tried to go to the body, but unable to connect. Leg kick lands. Oh, big head kick there. Much improved defensively as he blocks the shot. Both fighters exchange in the pocket here. Ooh, big shot lands. the shot. All right, he engages in the single collar tie. Nice punch there. Head kick. Well, he continues to do a nice job here defensively protecting the head and sort of maybe letting his opponent gas out a little bit with all the volume. His opponent sees the target, but he can't get to the target. He's got a huge strike right there. I'm not sure how many more of these his opponent can take. Massive shot that he landed. Great job. Oh, you gotta like the output here. So aggressive with the strikes, he continues to light him up. Got to be careful here not to gas out, of course, but you got to like the offense we're seeing from him, especially in this round. Great punch landed with so much power. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. And both guys really throwing with authority. Well, not much of a setup there. Misses with the left hook. Oh, man, his leg kicks are outstanding, and you saw a great example of that just there. And you see his opponent starting to slow down, and I take many of those kicks. All right, so there is the horn at times in that previous round. I didn't think we'd get here after that head kick nearly had him out of there. It was a good round leading up to that, but when you take a head kick like that, when your opponent gets your entire body into that kick, usually the night's over. Very tough to still be standing, but he can't take many more like that. Mm. 
You ready to fight? Ready. Third round underway. Well, he hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down tonight. He continues to connect on a high volume of strikes here. Ooh, what a punch. Trying to establish that jab once again. He's able to put that huge shot there, DC. I'm not sure how he stayed upright. I mean, when you get hit with a shot like that, to stay standing shows and talks to your toughness. Oh! Great punch. Oh, a nice punch out of the break there after he had popped the leg. So he is really starting to put it all together now and clearly seems to have found the timing of his opponent. Digging kick. All right, well, he's landed some good shots tonight, but there's no three-piece, there's no soda. More often than not, it's one and done. He's not even getting a combination. I mean, hey. if you're going to sit there at the drive-thru, <laughs> order a combination, take the soda with your food, give him the right hand behind the jab, give him the hook behind the right hand, jab, right hand, hook, that's two pieces of chicken and a biscuit, finish him off uh -huh. with the uppercut, that is your soda. I mean, come on, man, let this guy have the whole thing. Just misses there with the left. Oh, and that kick is blocked. Oh, he lands another strike to the body, really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection, and these will take their toll as this fight goes into the ladder rounds. Oh, big punch land. Lands that kick to the leg. Oh, he got absolutely bludgeoned. That's as good a combination as we have seen out of him here tonight. The last time I saw a combination this good, it was Donald Cerrone beating up on Rick Story. Right hand upstairs. There it is, take the shot now. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Oh, well-timed with that team. Well, this is exactly the sense of urgency you're looking for. Try to take the judges out of it. He is lighting them up now. Nice body kick. Well, eventually you know he's going to turn this defense into offense, but he's certainly doing a nice job on the defensive end. Of they talk about the feeling off process. He's getting his opponent's timing. Now he's blocking everything. Expect counters as we go forward. That's a big strike right there. He was trying to set up the head kick, but he misses on that attempt. Just misses with a left hook there. Punch coming, it's blocked. Oh, continuing to work the body to great effect. That's a good knee to the body. Oh! Who's hurt? Serve him up. Go get him. Oh, he might be out. Huge block there. 
He has a commitment to kicking tonight, and it shows. And that'll do it. 15 minutes in the books. All right, so a huge round for him there. Nearly had him out of there with the head kick. Did get the knockdown. Talk us through the replay. He got the knockdown. He won the round. He did everything correct. The only thing he didn't do is finish the fight. But if he continues down the path, if he continues to do the exact same thing as he did before, he will get that finish. All right, next round is underway, and if you look at these two guys in between rounds, it looks like they've barely broken a sweat, both with good resting heart rate, stamina still very high, and you just have to log the efforts of these guys in training. Both men certainly noted cardio specialists, but incredible that they would have this much in the tank after 10-plus minutes of fighting. And he's looking for that left hand, just missed. Bunches in bunches, and he hasn't really shown any signs of slowing down here tonight. I'm not sure how much more his opponent can take. Oh, huge block! I mean, look at the commitment to kicking in this fight. Liver kick. Caught the kick. Visibly limping here. Come on, man. Big punch lands through the middle. Just out of range with that right hand. Oh, massive head kick there. We'll see if he can finish. Fast, straight, hard jab. That's not a feeler jab. That's one that's really knocking the head back. What does he do now that he has this punch position? <laughs> nice punch to over the top. He loaded up on that right hand, too. Well, he has certainly found the range and staying pretty busy here on the feet. He's being busy, but it's also the timing and the accuracy that's allowing him to land so many attacks. Oh, man, that's a nice kick right there. He's doing a great job of landing that kick over and over again. He's just being more aggressive, and because he's being more aggressive and more loose with his strikes, he's landing. There's another beautiful strike to the body, really starting to connect at will when it comes to work in the body, and especially effective doing it later in this fight. Didn't see a lot of that from him in the earlier rounds. Oh, and he connects there. His hands look good tonight. So fast. I mean, this guy has tremendous hand speed. Throwing that jab yet again out of range. Pretty significant welt to the left side. Just over two minutes to go. Nice one-two there. Just missing on the high kick there. And he connects with a punch there. We'll see if he can follow it up. What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Go finish this fight. Well, any time you are in a ground fighting situation with this fighter, you're potentially playing with fire. Strong bottom work here, staying busy. Pretty good ground and pound by him here. He told us on Thursday he needed to be more effective in these situations. Certainly effective tonight. Many people have gone away from this style of fighting. This man has embraced it, and you are seeing why he's one of the best that we've seen do it in a long time. Big kick lands. Final minute. Good stick. Oh, 
over and over, he's landing these big body kicks. Nice knee to the midsection there. Well, he's looking for that left hand, just out of range, though, with it. Big kick. All right, throws a straight punch and lands, so that is increasingly becoming an effective weapon for him tonight. This is one of his best strikes. He's throwing it over and over again. It's broken, I think. Broken, I think. Final seconds of round four. for the end of round four. All right, let's take a look back at some of the highlights from those previous five minutes, DC, and uh, no padding, no glove on that foot. No glove, no padding, and look at the hip action when he throws those kicks. He's not only kicking just for feel, He's really trying to damage his opponent. And as the fight goes longer, you will start to see it taking effect. All right, we'll see how it goes here in this next round. A high number of kicks landed there in the previous round. And at some point, these are going to really start to take their time. They do start to take an effect whenever you're taking kick after kick after kick. And watching him fight with that knowledge and that patience shows his fight IQ. Pinpoint knee to the body. If you're trying to knock me out, you put one knee to the body. And jump. Every time the opponent tries to get close, he just drives that knee to the body. Great time. Oh, that's a nice strike. Throwing that jab, no good. Now a knee to the body. And he landed the right hand there. Punch is blocked. Leg is hurt here. You can even see him limping a little bit. Oh, significant strike attempt there, but a huge block. Big kick land. Got the single collar tie. And they separate. Look at him yank the head and land that beautiful punch from the clinch. Three minutes now to go in this one. Nice punch lands over the top. Big head kick lands. He's got the turtle in that kick. And he caught the kick. We'll see what he can do with it. with every part of himself into these big leg kicks. Blocks the shot. Real quick leg kick. Gotta be careful dipping his head when he's throwing that jab. Oh, a nice straight punch there to his opponent, and he lands it just after catching the leg. So clearly, he is starting to find his timing, not just offensively, but defensively as well. Very good read there. Strong 
defense here as the hook to the head is blocked. You take more of these leg kicks, you will not be able to be very active on your feet. Jeez Louise. One minute to go in the fight. He's got to go take that finish down now. Now he's on top of him. That open. is it. Oh, and there comes the stoppage. Oh, my goodness. What a performance. I should say so. A tremendous kick to end that fight tonight. Caught his opponent flush. Full force, full extension. And he had no chance to stay in this fight. Fight was over as soon as that kick made flush contact. All right, we'll take a look back at the highlights. You know we're going to find that nasty head kick somewhere in this highlight rip. Just an incredible result for him here tonight. A very nice head kick to finish the fight. But don't ignore all the work he did with his hands. And give credit to the opponent. The opponent was in there every step of the way. And in order to get a fight of the night like he got tonight, both guys have to be willing to participate. Now we go inside the octagon. Bruce Buffer with the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean is going to stop to this contest at four minutes, 17 seconds of round number five. Declaring the winner by knockout. And there is the man of the moment, and what a moment this must be like for a professional athlete, right? I know you enjoyed the birth of your kids, right? Yeah. If you knock out a man in a cage fight, I can't think of anything better. I mean, there's nothing like it. You know, you don't even hear the one that lands that puts out your opponent's lights. And tonight, you got that done. And you should be very proud of the work he and his coaches got done tonight.